In this video, we'll go over the main topics that did not appear in the 1H paper together with sample questions from each topic. You can find these questions together with a collection of questions by topic on our website. You can find the link to the website in the description of the video. So, the topics in random order are Vectors The difficulty of vector questions varies a lot. You could get a simple question like this one or one of those more complicated questions involving lambda and mu where you need to set up and solve a pair of simultaneous equations. Next topic is similar triangles or other shapes. In their simplest form, you will need to find missing sides like this question or work with areas and volumes of similar shapes like we had to do here. Note that for this topic, you might get a question involving a frustum. Another topic that was missing from paper 1H was upper and lower bounds. In their simplest form, these involve a simple calculation like this. But there was a couple of papers where at Excel decided to merge these with trigonometry like they did in January 2022. I did not see any questions on straight lines in paper 1H, so better be prepared. Could be a simple one where you are clearly told what to do, like this one, or you could get a question involving a shape like a kite, a rhombus, parallelogram, trapezium, and so on, so you should know the properties of these shapes. In this topic, I would also include this question. Although the question involves circles, the formula for the distance between the two centers comes from the straight lines topic. Talking about circles, circle theorems, is a very frequent topic that many times appeared in both papers and I was really surprised not to see any questions on this topic so be prepared for one or maybe two questions on this topic. Although intersecting chords is not so frequent in the exams it could appear and sometimes it might be a bit tricky like in June 2018. Direct and inverse proportions is a topic that usually appears so the absence of this in paper 1H would indicate that you should revise both inverse proportions and direct proportions. Simultaneous equations involving two linear equations is straightforward, but simultaneous equations with one linear and one nonlinear are slightly more challenging. Know how this question combines simultaneous equations with the formula for the midpoint from the straight lines chapter that I mentioned before. Transformations of shapes was another topic that was missing from paper 1H. Usually these questions are relatively straightforward, so if a question appears, make sure you are ready for it to collect all the marks. Although there was a question on transformations on graphs on paper 1H, it was very simple and only two marks. I wouldn't be surprised if they included another one with a trigonometric graph or maybe they think of a new type of question to check your knowledge of the trigonometric graphs, so make sure you learn those graphs. Staying on trigonometry, a simple question involving sine, cos, and tan was missing, so you might get one of those on its own, or it will appear on a question involving a 3D shape. Be careful with those questions. I like to extract the triangles I'll be using and redraw them to visualize the problem better. No inequality question on paper one, so expect either a simple linear inequality or a quadratic inequality like this one. Inequalities also appear on graphs with shaded regions. You could be asked to describe a shaded region or you could be asked to draw the lines and shade the region yourselves. Going to statistics now, there was no cumulative frequency question, so be prepared for one. You could be given one and asked various questions on it, or you could be asked to draw one yourselves. You could also be given a list of numbers and find the mean, median, range, IQR, modes, etc. One type of question I like is this one, where you are given the median, mode, and so on, and you are asked to find the actual numbers. Note that sometimes there might be multiple correct answers. Also note part B, this involves combined means in its simplest form. Another type of combined means question is this one. In my video solutions, I usually construct a table for these type of questions, but you can present your answer any way you feel comfortable. 
Also for statistics, you could get a grouped frequency table. Remember, when you're calculating the mean, you should use the midpoint of each category. Although there was a question in paper one involving percentage increase, there was no compound increase or decrease, and these appear quite often, so I would expect to get a question on this topic. Converting recurring decimals to fractions is a frequent type of question. These questions are usually straightforward, but in November 2021 at Excel surprised us with this question. Go see my video solution to see how I solved it. Don't forget to take a ruler and a compass with you since there was no question on constructions. There are two main constructions that appear in the past papers, either an angle bisector or a perpendicular bisector. One of the questions that might appear towards the end of the paper is calculations with algebraic fractions that involve factorizing and simplifying quadratics. Although there was a question on sets where a Venn diagram could have been used, a Venn diagram question with three sets could appear on paper two. Also, the probability questions did not ask for conditional probability, so a question like this could combine these two topics. Finally, question on differentiation did appear on paper 1H, but it involved working with a gradient. There was no question on kinematics, where you had to work with displacement, velocity, and acceleration. It has happened before for one paper to have a gradient question and the other paper to have a kinematics question, so I wouldn't exclude this type of questions. Here is a relatively straightforward question, and this one is one of the toughest questions on this topic. Remember, you can find a PDF file with these questions on our website. Check the description for the link. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel.